Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the So Brothers channel. And today we're gonna be talking about shoes that you should not sleep on. These shoes are underrated. Either they have a very good price and they perform very, very well, or just people that uh, don't know about this shoe. And I just wanna tell you guys about it because uh, I feel like these brands aren't like well known. So if you guys do wanna get any of these shoes, I try to leave an affiliate link in the description box. But let's get it started off with one of my favorite shoes right now, and that is the Leaning. Wave Wade 10 or the Leaning Wild 10 or the Wild 10, whatever you want to call it. There's some crazy, amazing colorways. I mean, there's this mint colorway that just came out. The white hot colorway is super dope as well. Uh, the two colorways that I have, this is this black one. And also, where's my, and also like my uh, kind of like beige one is amazing. The traction is solid. It's, I want to say it's like super top tier. Um, but it has a really, really solid bite, especially once you break it in. The cushioning setup is also one of my favorite parts about that shoe. I mean, for the price, it's it's a really expensive shoe. It's, two, it's like around 220 bucks, depending on the colorway, which definitely does suck. But the performance is really, really good, right? Uh, so yeah, I mean, the cushion, you have, it's caged, so you would think it's super stiff, but it's actually not. The cage is uh, like a, a softer rubber, and you definitely do get a nice compression from the heel, which feels great, but also the step-in comfort is so damn good because of the strobe board. It's like a mesh strobe board. You can feel the boom cushion pretty much right underneath your foot. So when you're walking around, it's soft, but once you kind of like start playing and start sprinting around and stuff, it, there definitely is a nice bounce and rebound back because boom is a pretty bouncy, right? So that feels great. Materials are super thin. There's not a whole lot of padding. It's a really thin material, especially in the forefoot, which feels great, but also support is really, really good. Uh, you have good lateral counters, lateral containment is good to go too. And also it's a really lightweight shoe as well. So you feel really quick. It's just a good overall blend of everything, right? Support is great. Cushion is super good as well. Traction is also really good. So the Wild 10, uh, although it is super expensive, you definitely should not sleep on it. All right, next we got a cheaper shoe, which I definitely feel like a lot more people will like, but also it's from Leaning, right? It's a Leaning Wade 808 2. And it's the pretty much uh, the, what do you call it? Like the resurrection of the Kobe 9, right? The Kobe 9 was an amazing shoe. A lot of people like that. If you like that shoe, get the 808 2, right? So the traction, also phenomenal. Uh, price is also phenomenal. It's 110 bucks, guys. There's some really dope colorways as well coming out. My favorite would probably be the Dynasty. Dynasty colorway is really dope. Uh, shoe that I'm super excited about though is the 808 2 Ultra, which um, is kind of like a beefed up version of the 808 2, right? So the 808 2 has a drop in midsole. You know, it's an amazing cushioning setup because the drop in midsole, you can feel the cushion pretty much right underneath your foot. There's no strobe board or anything. So it's a cloud foam that they're using and it feels really nice. There's a, a little bit of compression. Uh, it feels soft. Impact protection is pretty good. Uh, not the best on hard impacts though. Uh, but core feel is really good as well. I would say it's way better than the Kobe 9 with the Lunalon, right? Because you know, Lunalon bottoms out very quickly. Also support was great. Uh, the mesh material is super thin, but also very supportive. Overall, pretty lightweight shoe. Um, the Ultra version, however, instead of using Cloud, they're using full-length Boom. That boom is what they're using in the Wild 10, right? So Boom, it looks like Boost, um, but it's not. It's actually better than Boost in my personal opinion because there's bounce, you know, there's rebound back and it's also super soft. So I'm very curious as to how that's gonna feel. And it also has nice, nicer materials, like a knit material too, so. Uh, but anyways, the 808 2, definitely do not sleep on that shoe. Just get a pair, guys. It's 110 bucks, super cheap. And I feel like most of you guys will enjoy it. So uh, 808 2, definitely don't sleep on that shoe. Next, we got the Anta Shock, the game 6.0. Also don't sleep on this shoe. It's super cheap too. It's 110 bucks but performs really, really nicely. The traction is really good. If you're playing on like a pretty dusty court and you're doing super hard, kind of like stops, uh, then you're gonna be sliding around just a tiny bit. You gotta keep up with your white. So if you're playing on a clean court, you're gonna be good to go. Uh, I mean, if you're doing super hard stops, it slides just a tiny bit, even on uh, like a super clean court. Uh, it was a little inconsistent on hard stops, but um, other than that, it has an amazing bite and a really good traction. Uh, also, the cushion is really nice. You know, although it is caged, you're, we're getting full length N2 foam, which is super soft. Step and comfort is great. 
uh, low to the ground setup, but with good impact protection and comfort. Materials, however, aren't the best, but it's thin, it conforms to your foot pretty well. And overall, it's a super supportive material and overall super supportive shoe too. You know, lateral containment was great for me too. Uh, it's a really narrow fit though, so be careful on that. Uh, so, I mean, if you want a really snug fit, then go true to size, but uh, if you don't want that, then probably go up half a size. And if you have a super wide foot, probably go up a full size, right? Um, but overall, the Shock the Game 6.0, don't sleep on it. It's a really, really nice performer. Next, we got the New Balance 2 way 2 and it's, it's right here. Amazing shoe. It's more on the expensive side of things. Uh, comparing it to like the last two shoes, it's 130 bucks, but it's still not super expensive. Uh, so yeah, New Balance is pretty new to the game as far as basketball shoes go, but uh, the 2A2, like, no, the 2A3 has actually been leaked or I guess officially unveiled by New Balance, right? Uh, so uh, I guess it is old news, but the V2 or the 2A2 was is freaking amazing. Traction is top tier, amazing bite. You don't have to break it in either. Just good right out the box. Cushion also is great, F full length fuel cell, uh, but like crazy good court feel, like really low to the ground, just like the Hardens. But also you have nice bounce in the heel and compression. Not the best for like impact protection. I mean, it was adequate for me, but if you are if you need like crazy good impact protection, then it's not the best option. Uh, but also the material is like super thin, conforms to your foot. Not the most supportive shoe. I would pr put it on par with like the PG6. Uh, it's not it wasn't bad or anything especially for me but if you want like a lot of support then it's also not the best option right but the 2a2 is a phenomenal shoe amazing performer and uh definitely don't sleep on it you know a lot of people ask me like try the 2a2 out it's an amazing shoe and they're like yeah i don't know and they, uh, when you ask and when people ask me they always have like a shoe in mind you know what i mean and when i say a shoe that they weren't thinking about they're like yeah i don't know about that you know but i uh, don't sleep on it it's a really really nice performer all right, next we got the Jordan Zoom Separate, also super cheap shoe, 110 bucks. We got some dope colorways as well. Traction is phenomenal, a uh, top tier traction. I also really like the teetering that there is. It kind of reminds me of like the alto curvature that's in Kyrie's shoes, right? Uh, and also the cushioning setup is really nice. It's a great all around cushioning setup, you know, has good impact protection, has nice bounce, good court feel, it's comfortable, you know what I mean? So we get nice compression in the heel from the foam. Uh, we have a, a top loader zoom unit in the forefoot, which is nice. You know, again, a nice little subtle bounce, but it's not too crazy. A uh, court feel is overall pretty damn good too. Material in the forefoot feels great. You know, it's like a textile material, it has a little bit of stretch, uh, but also it feels great for support. Uh, uh, so the zoom separate i uh, definitely do not sleep on that shoe it's an amazing performer and jordan brand has been doing pretty damn well uh, especially for like their cheaper kind of shoes you know what i mean and then last but not least we got the nike cosmic unity 2 and the reason why i'm putting this shoe on this list is because i feel like nike has a lot of shoes that are uh really good performers uh, but they're, they're like signature shoes you know what i mean and everyone knows like the kyries pgs uh, kds you know uh, and uh, the Cosmic Unity 2, not a whole lot of people know for some reason. And if you like full length zoom strobe, then definitely you'll love the Cosmic Unity 2 because it has full length zoom strobe, right? The foam is all right. You know, it's more on the firmer side of things, but uh, I mean, zoom strobe is pretty damn crazy. So if the foam is a little too soft and it would be too much, uh, you know what I mean? So uh, cushioning setup, I feel like is really nice. Traction also is really good. You do need to break it in just a tiny bit. But once you do, you have a nice stop. You have a nice loud high pitched squeak as well. Material also is really good. It's 160 bucks, which is like definitely expensive, but uh, you get a nice quality, like thicker type of knit material, which feels nice and cozy on foot. Feels super supportive as well. Um, but I mean, I, I mean, it's not super minimal, but I like, I don't really mind it all too much because it feels nice and cozy and supportive, right? And also it's a pretty damn good looking shoe as well. So anyways, that's my list of shoes that you shouldn't sleep on. I mean, what else is there? I was trying to like look around. You know what? I'll put in the D-Lo Ice. The D-Lo Ice is a hundred bucks and it performs really, really well. Cushion kind of sucks. Uh, but traction is top tier. Textile material feels great on foot. Support is good too. Uh, so yeah, D'Angelo Russell's signature shoe <laughs> uh, is really, really good. I don't know why they're promoting uh, the 8082 and the Wild 10 with D'Angelo Russell, even though he already has a signature shoe. It's kind of weird, but anyways, the D'Lo Ice out kind of slide it in there as well don't sleep on that shoe uh, but anyways that about wraps up this video again if you guys do want to get any of these shoes i try to leave an affiliate link in the description box but that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one